starting on the defensive side. Mobby Star starting on the T side as well. Two smokes, Molotov, and a flashbang in terms of utility for Mobby Star. Nick and Dirt looking to make the early peak. Continue on where he left off in the last game. Contact and falls off, playing the smart play this time because he is so low on B. He was disgusting on Mirage. He was probably, he's, he's a huge reason why Liquid is even able to come back. He was giving them enough rounds in the first half to work with in the second, and he just maintained it throughout the whole map. They get another performance like that here. Could be quick. Elige. I believe he spotted a little bit of a shoulder, but doesn't want to commit to the fight. Death's trying to sneak his way up. Elige already as well. Ready for that on the balcony of the apartments. He can back off the... There's no flash for a hulls pop, though. It's just a smoke. And Excuse me. Yes, there is. Look at that. Oh, okay. I was going to say, look at that headshot line if he has, but he moves because OC gets inside of the Grave Digger's position. He actually falls inside a pit as well, so they've got a crossfire established. Good shot from Alex. But, oh, goodness me, OC's on the board. Ooh. Already, baby. Let's go. Baby, let's go. Get him warmed up early. Because they're going to need his AWP on Inferno, and he's going to find a third as well as Martinez goes down. Yeah, beautiful shots from OC. Slow start on Mirage, but obviously in the pistol here, triple kill is going to get him on the right foot. Picks up an M4 instantly. All the cash in the world. One to nothing for Team Liquid. One to nothing indeed. Look at this from OC. There's the first. Here comes another one. And then he just waits and he goes, you know what, I'll take more of that. Yeah, ooh, that one was sick, actually. Yeah. <laughs> That's fast. Good shooting. Hex. You'd, you'd love to see him kind of uh, have, a, have a, a, obviously a great start off the back of that 3 nothing. the opera. If he starts feeling confident and mobile on this map, it could be all said and done before it really begins for Movistar. Unarmored and Glocks. And this this was an issue in, in Mirage once Liquid was on the CT side. Is these kinds of, I mean, this is the second round, so a little bit of a different scenario, but even on rounds where you're saving, you have to be able to do some damage, and Movistar wasn't able to pull that off in Mirage. This is a map especially where you're going to want to be able to limit the economy of the CT side. You don't want to be playing against all the utility each and every round. Good shot. OC to close it out. Very concise, and a lovely spray down from Nitro in that one as well, so everyone getting a chance to get rolling early on with the exception of NAF, but hey, look, the sloth man is slow, but deadly. He does what he wants. That's nasty ass. Good triple from Nitro. That's a lot of money built up. Nobody goes down for Team Liquid. All five survive, cash in the bank. AKs and a Galil are gonna come out. A perfect chance for Team Liquid to get some freebie upgrades to the AK-47s. They've got three MP9s coming into the round. And they know what's coming. Trying to work his way into boilers, flames all over the place. Some of his own teammates throwing them down up the stairs to give him space and getting in there. Oh, naff. Calm down, son. He actually came out on top of the exchange. 35 damage to deaths, only taking 19 in return. Although an early challenge in towards the beat bomb set, and they're so confident because they know they have the AK-47s. They know there's going to be some weaker weaponries, and Nitro has no idea that they're already past his utility. He's got to be really careful. He's not, he's not careful at all. No, nope, that didn't work. Alex has Nitro down, so the opening pick goes the way. But misses, although Elige comes right back into that. Another kill with the MP9, and OC's gonna get deaths. Yeah, the Elige kill is actually huge. Look how much time it's buying, because that was the player meant to go all the way back towards T-Ramp to pick up the bomb. And look what it's done. It's bought so much time for Team Liquid to rotate over and start start to try and address this issue. Yeah, Kandar, they're gonna clear the corner. Elige, oh, what a double kill from Alex. Nobody checks it, they had no idea, but still a chance in this two on two, at Na or two on three. Naf? I guess they're calling it off. Hang on, though. Bomb's there. Smoke in. This is interesting. Yeah, I think they might be. They might be going all the way around on this. They Maybe Naf's thinking the bomb's still down there, but they've actually gotten it. I think they have to go for the save on this. Yeah, they do. OC has no HP to go for any kind of a fight. Ooh, that was almost a round that Liquid was going to crawl back into. So two to one. And with all five players surviving in the previous round, Liquid have plenty of cash for a full buy in the next one. So this doesn't get any easier for Movistar. They got to string two together to make this all that impactful. Naf might be in position to take some guns away. Nope, they're gonna go through T-spawn. These guys are up to it. Hard part is when when Alex, or excuse me, when, when Nitro goes down at the B-bomb site, he's the only one there. They had just rotated off. They had just rotated back to the A-bomb site, and they're so far away from getting back to B 
that there's like that 10 second gap where they have no information what's happening at the B bomb site. So not only did Nitro have no idea that Alex was this close, similarly, Elysian Yekandor had no idea that Alex had moved into this position because it had taken them so long to get over here and, and feel safe about progressing into the next spot. And yeah, that'll be frustrating. Just caught an awkward timing to get past your vision. Five That's rifles right, for Liquid. Pass on right. So we'll see what they can do with those five rifles. Alex quickly working his way toward Banana again. OC's going to spot down middle, potentially. He hasn't gone for it just yet. He's waiting it out with utility. And you may have heard the information toward all the middle, because when Davey jumped up on the stairs, he was quick to reposition himself. Yukinder's trying to find information at Banana. Mopez will try and push him back with the incendiary. That'll be countered. Bounced off by Yukinder, and Mopez has to jump away. Yeah, his only other option was actually to push forward and swing for the fight, which I think uh, I think Yekandar would have absolutely loved him to do. Maintain the off angle for the moment. Wants the challenge. Wants the fight. Molotov comes in and he spotted one. Backs away again. That's a decent nade. Yeah, chunks down two players. But he falls in response. Nitro's got one frozen out into the open, playing at Coffins. He might have to get past it. They're going to start streaming in. He would love that fight. He would love it if Alex gives that to him. I don't know if he's aware that Martinez is so close. He's got to back away. Again, Nitro might get caught off guard. He's only got four bullets in the magazine. Naf's gone down, though, as well. So the advantage is still with Movistar, and they're bringing the bomb now. Nitro needs to find his way back through the chapel if he wants any chance to try and do anything about this bomb about the utility that's going to be needed for the post planner. It's going to be too easy for them to set up as Martinez is going to find a double. He gets down OC after Nitro, and Elise is on the run. Fair play. Two in a row now for Mavistar, and this is the only weapon that Liquid's going to have in the next round, at least the only rifle. Yekandar will have 2,700. Excuse me. We have a little bit more than that. They're just cuddling. 3,200. Snuggling up. But for the most part, it should just be upgraded pistols and some armor for Team Liquid if they want to go that route or save. We'll see what they're able to scratch together. Elise can drop a weapon as well. So it might be a little bit better buy than you'd expect. Just him and a chicken. Ain't nobody here but us chickens. Ain't nobody here but... I think that's some, like, five knot guys named Joe. You ever see that, like, kids play? I did not. Okay, well, you're chopping this up. Yeah, apparently. I don't know, you were expressing some interest in the musical Cats. Yeah, and your point. That's, that's it. That's the point. Yeah, great musical. Two to two. Chat, tell him he's wrong. He did last time. I just didn't have the heart to tell him that. So <laughs> this time I will if he wants to bring it up again. Which chat would never betray me in that fact. Oh, yes, they would. Look, I like dogs more than cats, but the musical, that's a different story. Snades to alt middle. No damage done, but takes out all them windows. Breaking all that glass. It's all on a lesion this round with the M4 to provide some power to this really weak arsenal. Give a little bit of strength to put your deagle in play. Not gonna happen. Death is a quick headshot. Down to about half HP. Elise can't win it out. Naf is working his way into the M4. Which he's gotten away with, considering there's some presence inside the boiler. He now knows that. Caught by the second flash, so he's got to run back. Bit of damage dealt by the Molotov, but he has found safety. Good slow progression from Mavistar. Opening kill. Now you have Brackets control. Martina's going to add one more as Yekandar goes investigating, as Nitro and OC go investigating. And Naf is the only one left in Graveyard with the M4. Could just be an annoyance, but very small percentage chance of actually winning the round. Tries to go back out for the second shot. Now he only manages the one, and Dabby's got the kill in return. It's the lead to Movistar. Three, two on the T side. It's mixed, all right? It's mixed. But these are all Zoomers who have no respect for the musical regard. Nobody has uh, respect for cats as a musical. You know, you just, they don't have performing arts. They, they, if it ain't on TikTok, they can't keep their attention <laughs> long enough. So maybe if Cats was on TikTok, they'd like it more. The TikTok version. Yeah, exactly. The five IQ mindless version. 
Maybe we should stream on TikTok. Maybe then we get more than silvers in chat. Ooh, Elish goes down over the flames. Another opening provided by Martinez. Really well played. Naf and OC to hold on to the A bomb site. Naf's in the pit, OC inside the site. Nitro's in CT spawn, just looking for someone to cross arches. Not really any stopping power in that position. Yekandar's in a lot of trouble. Bad throw on the smoke too, it bounced, which means he took a bit more damage than he needed to. He still only went to 86 though. Yeah, but look how honest Movistar is being kept by the prospect of a second player coming over. OC. That yeah. was decent. That actually nearly worked out for more than that because they overlooked the position and he had a wider uh, shot than they thought. Yeah, but Naf's pulled out of position. Naf actually shifted over. They thought the B bomb site was going to be the final play. He grabs one. Is he able to get anything else? Or does he play inside of the cover? One more for Naf before going down. That's huge. Two on two. There's no kit, but this is a doable retake attempt. Lopez looking for the angle as he gets inside of the pit. That bomb planted and he is in a lovely spot to try and hold this off. To try and prevent them from wrapping around. Getting the defuse. There's a Molotov for this position. He spots the first. They know he's there. You're absolutely right. There is a Molotov for this position, but it doesn't matter if he can buy out time. He tries to fight into the Molotov. Yekender wasn't the one who threw it. He was ready for that peak, but it's all on Alex. And oh, he's already got the line. It doesn't matter. Yekender's going to go around. And it's going to be a 3 3 game. Yeah, well played from Nitro and Yekender. That's a beautiful retake in the two on two. I thought that Molotov could also have been a use, bounced off the skybox into the bomb site to flush the other player out, but they wanted different things. They wanted to go around and clear up lane. Well played. That's Team Liquid converting a 4v5 into a victory to tie things up. Still, not pretty in terms of money. Mavi Star still have them at a breaking point, still have them with backs against the wall. Nitro and Yekandar choosing different locations. Even if Yekandar was to go down, Nitro would have been there for a response, a rebuttal about, around the box. Round seven. Hop in the hands of Martinez. Now, he's done pretty pretty darn good work with the AK-47 up mid. They might actually miss that. Nades. This one's good. Oh, then strike. It's only going to do a bit of damage to Alex. The second one was a little bit late. But he is down to 65. And the intention was right from Liquid. Yeah, second one fell short as well, I believe. Yeah, Kandar playing behind sandbags. There's the Molotov. He doesn't realize, oh, he's in trouble. I think, I don't know if Mapa spotted him, but I don't think Yekandar has any idea anyone was there. Utility from Nitro comes out a little bit late. This has not been the most efficient B defense quite yet in the half for Team Liquid. Their defense on Mirage was locked down. Here on Inferno early on, it's a bit sketchy. Lopez, good shots, collects his aim and takes out Nitro. Depths will do the same onto OC. And just like that, it's a five on two. Naf and Elige. Original sin from Liquid. All on Naf. Let's see if we can do this 1v5. Knows Mopez is up close, Bates and Alex. Sound, but oh, oh shots. Mopez gets the kill instead. Naf not really having the best of games so far. Blade looking for the fist bumps. Yeah, he's getting him hyped up. I actually really enjoy watching Blade as a coach. Not for any specific tactical reason, although I'm sure he's great in that department. Because he's bald. Yeah. Got to support the, the fellow bald man. Okay, just wondering. See where you're at with that one. He's a fun coach to watch. It seems like he's he's helping, you know, just really emphasize the attitude the team's bringing to the table. Back to pistols for Team Liquid. They've still not been able to settle the economy. Eight rounds in. Five-man stack at brackets. Well, four brackets, snap at the end of holes. I think, I, really, I think Team Liquid, this, D, this the CT side of thing is going to get exponentially easier if they can figure out a way to be a little bit stronger in Banana, not not give over that control completely. This Sandbag's Coffin setup doesn't to be a, seem to be as efficient as they would like it to be. Yikes, Snaf just absolutely destroyed. OC leads the way on six kills right now for Liquid. Yeah, I wonder if they start bringing a third player over to Banana to actually establish that control and then kind of hold on to it when you when you force Mavi start to start the round from deeper in Banana. Deaths is looking pretty solid this game. He was the bit more quiet of his teammates, most quiet I'd say of all of his teammates on Mirage. Nade goes inside a boiler for deaths. Davey's there as well, and they'll start to take over control of the apartments. Everyone's kind of passing that bomb around like a hot potato, Jason. Hot potato?
potato. That's a fun game. Not with a bomb, but a fun game. <laughs> yeah, I can't, can't imagine that's <laughs> totally bomb. I feel like even if I'm all's not bomb. the one holding it, it's going to blow me up and it's probably all going to lose. So. Yeah, all spot. Here we go. Naf's got the first kill. OC out in the open. He's got no idea what's coming. He had no idea where to position himself. Naf's going to put out oh, the mall. No, 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 Ooh. he's not. He killed it way too soon. He gets to it a little bit late. He gets to it a little bit late. He's burned down to about half HP. Deaths with an entrance, but Elysia's here as well. This has taken so much time to be effective that the defense has rotated over. Short things up, and it should be a round win for Team Liquid unless Martinez can pull off something spectacular. That was like the quick switching of the AWP when you don't actually shoot and you press yeah. Q. That's exactly what happened to Naf on that smoke. Thankfully, he had 100 HP still. That could have very, very nearly cost him his life in any other situation, so. We've seen it happen before. Oh, stranger things. Not the show, terrible. Uh, four kills now for Elise, five for Naf, and one only to find in this round before is a 5-4 scoreline as Martinez backs away, likely to try and save that AWP in spite of the fact that he has $10,000. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it seems maybe a little bit crazy, but at the same time, like, what are you actually going to get done? Save save the op. You can drop as many weapons as you need, which you don't need to at this point, so all good. Fourth round for Team Liquid as they fight back. Oh, that's just rude. Ooh. I was going to eat that guy someday, and now I can't. That was brutal sounding. Oh, go get the nade, bro. It's 300 bucks on the ground. Think he cares, bro? He's rich. Never too rich to just enjoy or ignore a three hundred dollar boost. Four to five. Good job from Naf. Despite the issue with the smoke onto the Molotov, a good double kill. OC was kind of an awkward timing for that Hall's pop. I think that was the timing is way faster, way quicker in the round than he expected. But Naf was there to pick up the pieces. So is Elysia inside the site. Here's that third player over towards B. OC looking for a shot over top of the smoke at Banana. You did say that they might put a third player here. That seems to be the adjustment. OC. Hey, baby, let's go. Oh, no, he's missed. He's missed indeed. He saw the buttocks, couldn't hit the cheek, and he gets spanked in return. Kendra's going to get the response, though, and down goes Martinez. Oh, they're heading over towards Nath, and there's nobody here to help him. Elysia and Yekandar are kind of nearby, but they're still on rap side. They might get delayed. Elysia's going to shift into the bomb site at the perfect moment. And Mavistar slows it down, which might give an opportunity to set your defense. Nath gets to, once again, double kill inside the pit, and Elysia up on the boxes. Deaths is in some trouble, and he's got no idea. Smoke drops down, nade rings in, gunfire rings in. Deaths is about to be death. He is death, Jason. Living up to his namesake. Well, it's 5-5, five, five. liquid clawing back into this, having maybe given away a bit too much in a few rounds, but definitely trying to collect on this economy now that they've got to really still close down on it. Yeah, I think this is this is where, uh, especially on Mirage, when they finally got the money flowing and settled it down and got some money in the bank is when they really kind of took off. And we see this frequently on Inferno as T-Sides being... And I'm like, no, 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 there's just Jaden hairs in mind when we were cuddling. But then the other day I looked at the mirror and I was like, shit, Jaden's not here and I still have them. <laughs> that doesn't work anymore. I mean, the silver hairs are great. It's a good little salt and pepper in your life. I'm, I'm down. You be my salt and I'll be your pepper? Yeah, that's how it works. Abby's looking for some entrances toward the boiler position, but waiting out for sounds as well. Late smoke coming out from the CTs to cover off Banana, so they didn't go with the three-man stack this time, and a lot more passive in their positioning. Yeah. I think that goes as we've seen, and as we've mentioned a couple of times, that kind of sandbag coffins play from Team Liquid wasn't really being impactful, so I think they've just gone away from it, at least for the moment. But Mobistar still has had a lot of success at this bomb site, so I think they're more than willing to challenge and head here again. Ooh, the slide out from Yekandar. Mopaz just tucking himself into a corner. Oh dear, that's not ideal. If Nitro's peeking as well, Mopaz has no chance to escape, and he's gonna burn. Nowhere to go as Yekandar slowed him down just enough inside the flames, and that defensive smoke is brutal. He's sneaking up the wall. Flash. Oh, he's done. Oh, that's not bad. Little jumping backwards. He's Knows exactly moves. where he is. Knows exactly where they are as he goes back out and finds Alex through the smoke, but he does get traded out. Naf, bit of a gap to work with, but Martinez on the AWP is a problem because he fell off and it gave him the angle. 
seconds out of the site. It's OC with the up. There's the first. How many more? The flick up is so fast. That's the thing of beauty. Two on one. But Yekandar's already committed. There's no running away after that, and it's instantaneous headshot. Solidly done to cover over top of the barrels, and it's going to be Liquid back into the lead. And the money starts to build for them as well. They've all got a good amount, but they're also up against still a, a decent amount of residual from Movistar, so they'll be able to buy yeah. in this round again as well. Especially with the plant helping, and they've been able to buy through the three-round loss that they've gone through, so it's it's okay for Movistar, especially if they continue to get the plants. This was great for Malish. Completely blinded. Knows his location. A little hop back. Not shot from the OC. This one right here is nice. That is actually pretty sassy. Sassy, classy. That's a spicy meatball. Just one more time for me, please, Jason. No, it's okay. <laughs> I got it. I put it out there into the world. Oh, nice shot into Martinez. Leg down to the 16 HP. Oh, this with the flash. Gonna go try and blind up Banana and push himself in. This is all self-activation. Needs to be self-preservation right now from Yekandar. He goes back out and he's gone, Mopez. Gonna take the shot into his head. He's not done there either. He's gonna try and find Nitro. Sandbag's position off angle. He's gotta be so careful. Does have support, but the rotation from Elise is there, but he's looked away. The flash forces him to turn, and Elise is all on his own. I don't think they'll slow down either. They'll set up the smokes for CT, and that's about it. Yeah, they slow down just for the utility. Now, Nav's gonna chuck a high flashbang when Elise calls for it. Although Nubox is Molotov'd out, Elysium might need it sooner than he expects. Trying to get back to Nubox as the flames subside. Nath goes down. They turn through the smoke and CT spawn. Catch him off guard. Low HP. That's the bomb carrier, but Elysium has so much more to do. Elysium couldn't find the shot towards water. Does get the headshot on Alex. That's the bomb. So it does cause some commotion. Oh, they have to go get it, and he's caught out Lopez as well. Now he's got a real chance in this. They're going to chase him down, and he's not done there. Oh. He gets Davey, but Deaths has turned it around, finding not only Osi, but the kill onto Elise, and the round goes to misses. What a wonderful effort from Elise. He does everything there as the sole defender inside the bomb site. And Mavi Star, I mean, that that's painful. That took a long time to get him, but they do eventually. They drop all of his teammates first. Everyone rotating to assist. Everyone rotating in support gets taken down. This one, Naf. Dropped by Mopaz, taking the smoke. He's got utility out for Elise. OC rotates over. He's got some distance. I thought maybe he'd have some impact as the smoke cleared. But that turn from Deaths is huge. Yeah, that's pretty huge. And Elise was so close. He almost went for the fist bump. He was so convinced. And then... Yeah, good effort. You have to give him that. Stayed very efficient in the back of the site. But as we mentioned, the economy was massive. Ooh, Gunbrow show. Movie star. It wasn't for Liquid. Elise doesn't care. He and Naf going to converge upon Deaths. Payback for the last round. It's a four on two. Yeah, that happened so quick. Liquid's playing a, a, another round of offense here from the CT side. Molotov down. Nice They're going to go through it. The op is going to drill him. Martinez falls. And Alex is the only one left. And he'll try to push his way back in to get that bomb. I'm not going to consider going any further than that. If he even tries to plant this, though, the instant attack from OC. And Nitro will be... Uh oh hang on. This timing, he's letting this play itself out because they're starting to rotate back off. Okay, that's smart. That is exactly what... Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was really well thought out because they considered that he may have gone back down banana. You could see them start to rotate across and they thought, okay, if there's one place he could be that we wouldn't see him, it's water. They throw the incendiary, he gets tagged by it, and that gives away his position because if they had left and he actually was able to isolate the AWP and the SMG, he could have won that. Okay, so that's a lot of aggression. Yekinar pushing down mid, peering towards alt. OC with the deep op down towards T ramp. And then obviously the push from Elise in halls as well. So that's a coordinated alt mid crunch from Team Liquid in a low economy round. 7 6. Oh, have fun at the B bomb site. Yekindar, time to farm up, baby. Two SMG kills. Elise has another one. Yekindar forced back, but the USPs are out, the Deagles are out. Alex gets one frag in return for OC. Ooh, a second one onto Elise. Yekandar's low. Well, they collect the rounds eight to six. So now the money is it's actually still decent. They're still gonna buy. It's just endless economy in Spain. Yeah, well they've had that they've had a pretty high losing bonus for a while. Which is nice. And here we go. Last round of the first half. Team Liquid going to have a lead moving on into the second half, moving into their own T side. And actually, 
Just to throw one little spanner in the works for Mavistar's offense, they switch into a double op setup. Yekandar's got one towards Banana. OC's gonna have an op, and it looks like he's jumping up in towards Hulls. Elige flashed off. You can see it back inside of safety. That's the sight. Quick wrap. Elige's the only one here. He, he's the only one there, but they've got boiler still. And that means they can actually... Whoa, never mind. I was gonna say they could work backwards, counter off the site. They still have OC on the op. He's missed the first shot. He knows he's in trouble now because they're gonna push him from both sides and below. Oh, that is another fast flick. And he's gonna go for more. Can't quite get deaths up close. And although he's on 15 HP, oh, we start my week this 8 7. Yeah. That's a super good half. Oh. That's a great nade. There's still a little bit of utility. If Yekinar drops a Molotov towards half wall, that would. Actually, excuse me, deaths is playing way deep into the corner. Yeah, this is gonna be a very tough retake. Four players alive, I'm not gonna say it's impossible, but Alex is even watching for them to wrap around through brackets. Tough for Liquid to manage, smoke in the face, Molotovs are out, utilities being spent, desperation, they need this kill, but blinded, Martinez is gonna get that one as well. Nitro finds the first inside the smoke, knows that David, David? Deaths is inside of the pit, he finds that, but he's looked away. De Deaths is David? so close, he's gotta go back out. He might be David taking on Goliath in this case. But Just leave it, I know a lot of players these days still, and it happened a few years ago, but it still stuck around. I feel that this map is, there is an element of this map that makes it a little T-sided, so kind of uh, kind of interesting. Let's see what Liquid has in store for us. Their, their T-sided Mirage wasn't bad, but it was obviously marred by massive amounts of mistakes, massive amounts of miscues. But the general broad strokes were all there. Half is going to be pushing up in halls with the bomb. Elise and Nitro in alt mid. OC and Yekandar. Well, OC's just holding down mid, and Yekandar is probing at the B bomb site. See so, yeah, how this one plays out as contact is the name of the game early on. Yekandar and Mopez, or Elise, and pretty much everyone, but they're actually going to sneak by that. It's apartments that's the play right now. Yankinder's actually backing off this, didn't spot anyone other than one at B, so they haven't forced a rotation, but they have an interesting sandwich proposition. Martinez knows it as well, and he's gonna go toward the mid wall, so now takes down Deaths. Alex will get OC, and Elise is trying to go back around toward Boiler because he knows they burrowed themselves in somewhere in middle, and he's found that out the hard way. So they're down a man, but up a bomb. Yeah, well, Yekandar's coming in from CT spot. I don't think anyone realizes that just yet. He's walking as well. He just spotted one crossing. Naf's gotta be careful, tucking himself into the bomb site. Nitro's got the power position at Graveyard. He's got the kill. Easy. Oh, easy. I was going to say, missed the first shot, but still gets the job done. Ah, removed by the flash. That's going to force Nitro to peek. But Alex coming out from the apartments has the shot into him. It's all down to Yekandar. He's just got to buy time. Second one is far away. He gets close to try and use the tall box to prohibit his vision. That's going to allow him to at least get the shot onto the close player. And I don't know. Is there time? He's got the kid. He just picked up the kid. He should have the time indeed. And it'll be nine to seven. Yeah, but if Alex doesn't hit the headshot there and Yekandar gets away around that corner, even if that just takes another half second or a second, that, that's a huge issue. Pissed around for Movistar Riders. Well played. Very, very well played. Team Liquid had some time. I like the response as well from Movistar. With all those players present, they kind of say, okay, it's a Hulls pop. They've got the first kill. Let's forget about dealing with that for now. Let's get aggressive in middle. Let's find the guy who's obviously throwing a smoke and throwing a flash for them as every old Hulls pop has that player. He's going to be alone. He's going to be isolated. Probably going to have no armor. So a nice easy kill to set up for the retake. They're looking toward top middle. And the shots as they continue to be speculative. Yeah, a little bit of Molotov damage as well. Mopaz is going to have position at the bottom of Banana. Very patient from Team Liquid. They have bought up with that. Bomb plant going down, two Galils, two AK-47s. Not a whole lot of utility to play with, though. Smoke, two flashes, and a Molotov for the rest of the round for Team Liquid's attack. So you have to imagine there's going to be some contact plays, some heads-up fights taken, especially by Yekandar and Elyse, two the two guys you'd obviously want in that position with the AK-47s. Corner boost, I think, is going to be the response to the smoke because they wanted to fight forward. They know they're there. Alex going for the jump. They see the elbow, though. That could have been a problem because it would have knocked the aim of the top player. Well, that, that smoke, I don't know if it if it missed. I'm assuming it missed a little bit. It was a little too deep, so oh, yeah. not lined up properly. So, I mean, I mean that saved that might have saved their life. Someone saved my life tonight. At least he's dead. Martinez with the shot. Oh, he's going to come back around and take him out. That was Elton John, for those of you who are too young to know that.
Naf waiting inside the apartments, trying to get his way into the side of the site bombs. Dropped. Nitro is unable to plant it as Alex finds a headshot through the box, of all things. And with 14 seconds, they're trying to get out, but OC's in trouble. He's going to be surrounded. He needs to hit a shot. He can't do it. And it's going to be now 9 to 8 in favor of Movistar. Yeah, that one fell flat for Liquid. So, uh, Hero Galil in the next round. Oh, just chilling on the bench. Having a picnic. Rustic bench. Round number 18. So Mavi Star sustained in the second round after winning the pistol. Eight rounds for Liquid. That's where they started the half. That's where they sit now, and they don't have a lot of weapons to try and change that in this round. And the Galil's not exactly the weapon uh, you would like to crack around open if it's the only rifle you're going to have, obviously. Deep smoke, deep banana utility, Ekandar bails out. Martinez is pushing. He's thirsty. Nicely done from Naf. Tracking the footsteps the whole way, but he takes a lot of damage in the process. And around like this, nobody's picked up armor, so there's nobody really to pass this Galil over to who's going to be more impactful with it. Death Souls with the AK, he's got the angle, but you can hear Fates out that shot, so they get the information and they, oh dear. It's all good. It still so, accomplishes the, the job. It does. It's still a corridor they have to go through the flames. Just, but, yeah. you know, not pretty. We like pretty. Mopa's pushed down Banana. He's got Alex at the half wall, ready to peek and support if needed, and ready to just drop a deep smoke, but none of that matters as Mopa's is doing work. Double kill for him with the Galil. Take down to three as well. That MP9 continuing to try and be annoying, if anything. Bombs down inside of that smoke, but it may not matter. They're just trying to pick off a few kills and make the economy a bit tighter right now. Naf oh, does a brilliant job of that. Kidding. Davey. It's a spicy little burst onto the face. No more spicy meatballs, Jason. Those are gone. Yeah, they're the first things to go, usually. It's actually pretty true. Well, a combined 20 HP on these last two Liquid players in this. Oh, this is so weird. 16, 16, 10, 12 seconds. OC's going to go die. Attempt to die. Just start playing the bomb. It'll take care of itself. Naf's going to save that Galil. Oh. But again, no bonus money. Now, because he got two kills in this round, obviously, he's going to have some cash for utility. Probably Smoke Flash that he'll pick up. Yeah, that's a tough call because the whole team is going to be pretty wealthy after this one, but he's not. The Galil, I guess, is the worst thing to work with. We can see how accurate he was with it from that mini pit position, but... Okay, he goes for Molotov flashbang for his, for his roll on the T side towards the hulls. Two-round lead for Mavistar, round 19. Martin oh, oh, hang on. He's going to go for the ultimate pick. Baited out, flashed off. No one to respond, though, because they had their attentions drawn toward Banana from the bottom side of mid. Nate, that could be decent. I'm going to call it wrong again, aren't I? Yep. Yeah. I saw as soon as he tucked it I knew that. I've seen, seen that Nade too many times to think that one's going to do a lot of damage. Cool. Don't mind me, then. I was, I was going to try and stop you, but... It's too late. It's too late. You were Slow too far motion. gone. The bus was coming. <laughs> I was laying on the road. You do your best, but you can't always, can't always get a victory. All right, Martinez steps up to the plate. AWP at hand. Uh, OC flicks over with a missed shot, and OC actually takes 80 points of damage in return. Not the best situation for him. Ooh, nice from Alish. Just spamming into the smoke at the corner. Finds one. Malpaz wants a peek, though. He wants to come down. Oh, Alish is out in the open. He's dropping nades. He's dropping utility for Naf. Naf, who could only get a little bit of utility. That smoke was for him. And it cost Alish his life. Not worse. Not at all. However, they found a, an opening here. Mopaz is just starting to hustle back to CT spawn to rotate and shift over. Martinez is going to miss the opportunity with the ops. So no one's actually in the bomb site itself. Liquid's going to find a freebie here. And Yekandar has already had some pace to his step, and Martinez goes down. Chris trying to come in and make amends with that, though, inside the smoke, but Naf's going to spawn him. I think he went a little bit too far. Gun barrel was the reveal. I think Naf is just spamming for the boost up on a flower, so I think he just got a little lucky. It could be, absolutely, yep. yeah. And, and either way... Yeah, either way. He's got the kill, Jason, and it's going to be around for Liquid. They're first of the half, so this will bring them back within one of Movistar right now. Two AKs 
Uh, sorry, one's an M4, rather, excuse me, for Davy. So they'll hold on to those and continue to try and build up a bit of a surplus before getting broken down, just as they did in the first half. So this is Liquid at least getting going and doing it with four players surviving as well. And keep in mind that Naf didn't get that bonus money a few rounds ago, so this gets him back in sort of sync with the rest of his team as well. Yeah, this, I mean, this still feels at the moment like both these teams are kind of jockeying for, for economic position in this map. And I think the interest, when this half gets interesting, is going to be if slash when Liquid resets the economy of, of Mobistar, when they take all the money away and see if Mobistar can actually kind of put a stop to Team Liquid and they have some momentum when they have that advantage in, in the game. That's when things are going to get really, really cool. Second time out taken for Mobistar, up 10 to 9. OC with the AWP. Quick out of spawn, already toward middle. He's staring up toward the wall, but no one's going to peek it out just yet. Dab might. He's going to peek it behind the flashbang. So OC blinded, but not spotted. Just narrowly getting his elbow tucked in behind the corner. Passive aggressive at B. They went down with the utility. They fall back to the site afterwards, but there's no one inside of Banana, at least yet. Death has the angle for the apartments. Oh, good flash, though. Good flash. It's going to force him to spray and drop. He's still in a good position, but the second flash. Oh, dear. The AWP comes over from Library because that could have been a lot cleaner. Martinez does well to give his team a chance, but Yakinder finally takes him down inside of the site. And it's a man advantage doubled up now as Mopez is found by OC lurking over and rotating from Banana as he was still back in Boiler and Alex has really no options to get inside of A. Yeah. That's a nice attempt from Martinez. Nice double kill from Naf as well on the exit. And, and this is this is the nightmare scenario. No more money for Mobistar. And Yekido, I love this. We saw this on Mirage as well. He was he's really motivated to go hunt down these weapons. And this is a speed. He's gonna be here, I think, before Alex even realizes. He might be able to catch a timing. He's walking now. Alex trying to find position, and these footsteps will be heard. Though maybe not now that he started walking Alex towards new box. Yekinar, this is a tough find. So many angles inside this bomb site. Sees the elbow, has brought him low. Nade should do the trick, but he moves out into the open, and Yekindar can't handle it. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Nice win from Alex. Nice win for the one-on-one, -on -one, but the round to Liquid Tent. They lost one more. Naf. Naf. Come on. What's he doing? Come on, man. Yeah, this is a this is a great attempt. It's a nice job from Martinez doing his best to protect his teammate, but Naf just does such good work. Clearing out pit, finding a player out in the open in transition. Yekindar, it's a wonderful shot onto the opper. 10-10, that M4 is the only real stopping power they have. P250 picked up on Mapas. Is that a P250? Yeah. P250, yep. Am I going crazy? No, that's 6,000, isn't it? That's what I was wondering. I was... The, the overlay is really like... I can't tell if, if, if my brain's broken or if my eyes are broken. Oh, your brain is super broken, dude, but yeah. I'm not, you know. Either way. Mopez inside sight needs will bounce and not go far enough forward to find him. Mopez this time has an M4, Jason, so it doesn't matter what pistol it is. Yeah, he picked it up off of... Uh, it was a cool little stack. Alex goes down. The M4 immediately just falls to the feet of Mopaz. Comes back for re-aggression. Aim punch is a cruel mistress. Davy G and Martina is going to quickly rotate over to the B bomb site, but again, no real stopping power, just USP. So you might be able to get a little bit lucky on someone like Yekandar and OC, but you can't imagine that those guys are going to be too motivated to be the uh, the tip of the spear. Davy G up, but down. Nah, finds him immediately on the boost and drops him. He'll hold water. Nitro swings into tree. They have a suspicion that a player has gone between them, so we'll see if, who's obligated with watching that. It seems it'll be a liege that spams in. Tries to bait the push with the bomb, and Nitro safely jumps back through as a liege gets that kill. It's just on deaths, and this round should be, I think, pretty much over. Indeed it is, Matthew. Indeed it is. Oh, he gets one. 11 to 10. Liquid have a one-round lead. Here come the M4s from Stars. They finally get some cash reinserted into the economy. Alex drops off the totem pole. Just a lot of AK-47 fire going through the smokes. Elise smiling. Liquid's having a good time. Nursing that lead. Alex to lead the way for Mobistar with 16 kills. On the other side, it's Yekandar with 17. 
to top the scoreboard for Team Liquid. Elise is brought down early to 12 health. Shots that reign supreme. It's Movistar with the advantage not only on the first kill, but also the damage. Elise only left on 12. As the banana exchange was not quite ripe. A little bit bruised, I would say. A little bit of pressure, though, has gone a long way for Team Liquid at this A-bomb site. Look at all the smokes on the map. One, two, three, four, five, six smokes all around the A-bomb site. There was a lot of utility spent from Team Liquid with footsteps and a lot of defensive utility dropped in panic by Mavistar. And the solo B player is Mopez right now. He's still at the barrels as well, which could be a fast rotation. This looks to be more committal toward A. Oh, for Liege, that's why he's got the AWP instead. Hosey's on the AK. with 15 kills. Molotov, that'll flush the position. JVG, he goes back into it. He's gonna get one, maybe two before burning. No, not quite. Nearly tried to get OC, but he got the kill instead. Martinez up on top of the double. He's got the straight line of sight toward Naf, and it's all onto Elise, the man with 12, and his gun barrel a bit too long. Ooh, and a free AWP passed over to Mavistar. That's a nice little weapon to pick up if if you're the CT side, pass that bad boy down to Martinez, because on Mirage, he was a beast with it. Oh, man, he looked amazing. Especially on the CT side, and they just really, it feels like they haven't been able to get it out nearly as much as they'd like because of the money issues that they've had. Good job from Davy G. I mean, the only thing you can really do in that situation, you go for safety, and that's exactly what they expect. So he decides to just fight to death inside of the flames and does great work. All tied up at 11. <laughs> Waiting as well as Elise gets in position to jump to boiler. Deaths with the crossfire, Elise. <laughs> that is such a good flash. <laughs> That's actually so insane. Elise just turning and is like, oh. Hey, okay. <laughs> I, I would have thought they like pre-fire that or something, but maybe they didn't hear him at all get inside of the window. That silence was so strong. Yeah, they, I mean, he had that, that flash is god tier, and obviously Liquid's been mixed that up. They haven't thrown that every single round, and Mavistar has no, there's no chance you see that coming. The crazy part was only one of them was flashed. Yeah, that one was just looking the other direction. He was looking the other direction, he turned around and was like, ah, it was Elise. Meanwhile, Yekandar, first kill of the round towards Banana, and again, just ruthless in taking these guns out at the end of the round. Yeah, that's this is solid. That's a huge that that flash is massive in the in you know the aspect of this entire game because look at what the money's about to be for Movistar and Liquid gonna win a very, very crucial round at 11 11 Yekinder's gonna take down Dabby G, all five staying alive. That's huge. It's Movistar who, who have to make a really weird decision. I think we're gonna see a timeout come out from them to discuss the Tina's top mid. Trying to jump across, flex not to. Uh oh, oh dear. Yikes, yikes. A little bit too much mustard on that hot dog. Cell didn't put on his flame proof suit before he went to that fire, pl I can't remember the name. I was trying to go for the Breath of the Wild reference. Okay. You know the place for cool music, but... No. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you go with the uh, Ocarina of Time, Goron Mountain. Isn't it the same in Breath of the Wild? Isn't that right? The Gor Gora Mountain? I don't know. No. Okay. All right. Well, different, I'll shut up. Different timeline. Gotcha. Zelda games top all over the place. Yeah, just like me. Yeah, looking for the shot through Granny's apartment. It's Death Mountain, where the Gorons live. That's Ocarina of Time. It's not Gora Mountain. That's why I think it's Gora Mountain in. It's not. It's fine though. Not? Nope. Okay, well, Naf's got Dave. I don't know, I haven't played in a while, but uh, let's get back to the game, shall we? <laughs> but, but enough about Zelda and mythological races. <laughs> Nitros. There's a bullet whiz past his head, able to find Martinez inside the site. Death still hasn't popped his head up out of his hidey hole. Hold the phone, they've got a cannon. Alex and Death's left in a 2v2. Still holding off in the pit. Elise is the one he wants to find. He's got support from Deaths. 
on the stairs. This is far closer than Liquid would have liked after the last round because look at the money and the way it comes back. 11 seconds. They have to go. Could find a leash, but they still haven't solved the fact that Alex is waiting for this. A leash goes for the safest plan possible, and Alex will hunt this down into a one on one. But that's going to be information for Elise. He tried to go early because he saw the flash. He knew Elise wasn't ready, but he certainly is now, and it's 13 for Liquid. What a time for Elise to step up. These, these past two routes have been massively impactful. Obviously, double kill off the back of Naf's flash in the halls in the previous one, but this here, Yakandar's got an op and no HP. He cannot be aggressive in any way whatsoever. So for Elise to find that first kill towards Graveyard to really break that open and make it interesting is massive and a huge clutch. There's the opening kill, but from here it all went wrong. Five on three at this point, and then all of a sudden the five seven of the Deagle does work. Not bad at all, but Elise does well with the information he had. That's what exactly those, these past two rounds from Elise are exactly what you want your star player to deliver, and he's done it massively. Wow, the other star players you can do, let's see what he can deliver this time against the guns once more for Moby Star. And they're running out of chances to try and bring this game back. Need to do it now. Keep Liquid honest. They don't have a ton of residual cash on everyone just yet, so super important moment. Zikendar, oh, he's going to be burning. He's going to be burning. He's going to take it down because Mopez heard the tick. Tries to get the trade, but he's not fast enough, Nitro. I wonder if they realize they've, they've spotted at least two. I don't know if they saw the third one, but they might assume it based off the positioning of the AWP. Back towards Banana we go. Or we're staying in Banana. Mopaw's the only one left. OC's gonna come join up. Liquid's made their decision to attack this bombsite off that kill. They're saying, yep, usually you, you probably rotate over. Mopaz is trying to time his peak. Alex got no support utility. Mopaz has to back off this. <sighs> Firing into the smokes, though. Mopaz actually got a leash. Blinded through the smoke, doesn't matter. They're gonna follow okay. that up. Allow Alex sure. does the same thing. Yeah, why not? Why not? This oh, this would be so good. This is actually looking like a really strong win for Mavi Star. Five players surviving when they've had so many issues with their economy. This would be absolutely magnificent. Exactly what the doctor ordered for the Spanish side. Hang on though. Bomb goes down. Smoke still towards CT. That's gonna let OC's op get in position. They'll bait it out, but it's a double stack from Orange Two. Naf is ready to watch that as well. And in fact, he's called OC off of it because he wants the information at CT, knowing that that smoke is going to dissipate. Flash high. It's above OC's positioning. Naf goes down. He only gets one, and the trade was not fast enough. So it will be Movie Star with the 12th round. Valiant economy, but it's er, va sorry, Valiant attempt, but it is good that Team Liquid did the damage to the economy. That's what I wanted to say. Just a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but two kills is is, is going to do a little bit of work. That that work's going to go a long way as this half comes to a close. This map comes to a close. Potentially the series comes to a close. However, this is a big round. Is Liquid who are out of funds after they buy? Nitro's got 4,000 before investing in the AK-47. Excuse me, he drops onto a Galil for the utility. This is great. This is super impressive from Obvistar. I think I, I wasn't really sure what to expect with this transition with obviously losing some Pius and bringing in Martinez. I love that they're putting up a fight on both these maps and probably feel like they should have won Mirage. Probably should have won Mirage. He's up and over. He'll get inside of the boiler position. Yekadar's already staring it down at Banana. And he's going to get toward the balcony on the apartments. Yekadar again, just solo in Banana. So confident. Now they've, they've heard the op ring out in all mid, so that actually might prompt Yekandar to be a little bit more bold. Well, he might. Oh, Martinez is quick, but he's out of position. He's too far from the arch, and Nitro was able to get the trade. That'll start to favor the offense. He switched to the AK, and they've thinned out the defense, forcing the rotation, forcing Alex to come back around. And the smokes have denied utility in library and in arch, so they there's no way for Movistar to know that they're readdressing across the map. There's actually no presence here. Mapaz, you're on your own for quite some time, my friend. Good position to do it, though, because it's the furthest they have to go into the site to check that, and that might buy space because he's going to hear them. It's going to call for the rotation, which is already underway. Alex will be the first to arrive. He's even not confident that Arch is open, though. No smoke on CT. They've got Mopez already. He managed only one on Naf, but that's the bomb. And they've got to go for that, which means they're in the open because there's no utility to cover that off. So the damage is sufficient. 
and significant as well as Davey's gonna try and flash his teammates back in at a three on three post plant. Nitro's caught by that, but they're not close enough to capitalize all three from CT. Yakiner's position could be huge depending on how staggered or close they are. As he waits in the corner, they're gonna check it, but he's got the first, that's the low HP, that's why he's first. Davy's able to pull out the aim as he goes for a brilliantly timed shoulder peek. Oh, see, back through the smoke, and it's all on Davy G. He's made noise now, they know he's on the coffins. Nitro's gonna back away to make the aim harder to hit, but jumping, it's a bit aggressive, a bit bold. And the head down, Davy G's gonna hold this. Oh, she's gonna peek it, oh, see, he's gotta see it, and he does, <laughs> just barely through the edge of the coffin. And it looked like he took an extra quarter of a second to make sure he was gonna nail that. That was a very small target that he made himself, Davy G. Nice attempt for Movistar, and they had to go for it, but that is heartbreaking. That is everything they had invested. Liquid get away with one. That's a scary bomb retrieval as well. Like you said, no utility, no smoke, no flashes to get back to it. That could have been a disaster. Man, oh man, so close. Movistar are playing very respectably tonight. I give props over to Hosi as well for being a great for SMGs. Uh, 18 kills now. Elijah's 19 and Yekandar 21. He's gone this time though. Mopez pushing down. He finds his 15th. Martinez again, by the way. Oh, take it back. Alex has 22. I was going to say Martinez leading the way at 18, but Alex is at 22. I think Liquid's gotten away with a lot in this half of having Yekandar frequently being like the sole aggressor up banana. It's good to see uh, Movistar really punish that in this round, especially with just the SMGs. That's a huge benefit to have. Five on four, they had to use a decent amount of utility for it as well. Looking for an angle outside of Boiler with a flash that's done to quad. No response for that first kill that's given away an AK. Who's he's gonna go dry on this? That's risky. For Cubby as well. MP9. Nitro's staring it down, but how do they flush them? How do they pull this out? The Ops gotta go first, and Nitro better hope he hits a shot. A nice flick. Man, he's good at the upward flicks, but that's the problem. Martinez was there with the MP9. As soon as Nitro didn't succeed, they lose two, and it still is the man advantage, therefore, for Movistar. Nath and Elise, the only two left inside the site. Death uh -oh. has the smoke. He's falling down with the nades out. That gives Alex the aim, and the round, 14-13. Oh, Nath realized it at the last second, and just also at the same time realized he could not adjust in time. He couldn't get the gun out, and okay, Movistar not only survive, they punish Team Liquid. Look at the money. It's horrible. Elise is going to drop an AK-47 over to Yekandar, so they go for the hero buy. Do they want to invest around it as well And the other players? Indeed, they do. And this is one of the sketchier buys you'll ever see in Pro CS. Good job from Alex, just biding his time ready and waiting. The final double kill. AK-47 on Yekandar with armor. No armor on NAF with utility and a P-250 and, and a couple of pistols next to it. What an opportunity Movistar have just created. And their self flash AK this time. No mistake. Won't piss down, but he is burning from that. You could feel the heat and the pressure of the round because he's got that kill, but he's got damage. I think you have to just march up and hit the B bomb site with this utility. You don't really have the smokes and flashes to take bracket controls. Even if you get bracket controls, you don't really have the utility to properly attack up lane or along rap side. I think this is really the only option. And unfortunately for Mobistar, they haven't realized that. They obviously can't know what buy they're going up against, but they're keeping three players on the other side of the map. Elise is the next to try and peek this. Smoke to isolate the site itself. They can wrap around through the cathedral if they want to. But Alex is positioned That's the bomb. Oh, he has the bomb. Oh, this is so dangerous. It's a massive misplay. What? Okay, Ooh. I think he's been called back. They're like, yeah. hey, dude, can you come plant, please? Oh, yeah, Kender's spot by this. This still gave time for the rotation. It gives Martinez an angle to try and fire inside of the site. Oh, OC so got so lucky there. He got away with one. Oh, the, what are Yikes. they? This is a little bit of insanity. Liquid is like 10 steps ahead of where they actually should be. OC has the only rifle. Yeah, and he got caught planting and goes down to 47. Send the pistol for the information. Alex is there. He'll spot it out, but they only get one. They only get one in OC. He's got to time this so well. He needs to know when they're coming around and they're going to jump on top of him. It's going to be a tie game and the money now swings back in the favor of Movistar. Plant's going to help, but only a single round losing bonus. 2,200 extra bucks they get. So Liquid sitting mostly around 3K or just beneath it. And I... If you want to talk about being in a weird decision, an odd decision due to the money you have, do you save? Do you half by here and really give an opportunity over to Movistar to get to map point? Do you play for OT? I think you almost have to. And indeed, 
Eagles, Tech 9, a little bit of armor. Bit of armor is Zukender is trying to find something now with a Deagle back at Banana. His obligation for the entire game. OC with the smoke gap trying to spot to the left side. There goes a liege. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the last two should just get mowed down. Yakinar with that deagle is not done yet. He's got so many more to find, though. Death's in the pit. Martinez on rap side. Alex is hustling over as well. AK-47 picked up for Yekandar, so we know he can create things. This is very low percentage, though, as he's patient. He's hoping for a peek. He's hoping for a mistake. He's hoping for someone to offer themselves up. Waiting for the shot. Patience, though, for Movistar, you have to say. Not going to give up anything in this. Not going to give a mistake away. They want map point first. Liquid. We're close. They know it. They're not going to give up easily. Good find from Yekandar. He knew exactly what he was up against the whole time, but he did not know Martinez was that close. And he is stepping up again to find now, as we say, map point, a chance to tie the series. Yeah, I think if you're Yekandar in that situation and nobody's peeking in that fashion, you have to know someone is looking for you to run into the bomb site. So you just take a risk and a guess that that's the angle that's going to be held, and that's a great find. Up in the hands of Martinez. Yekandar, Naf missing flashbangs. Couple players missing a little bit of utility. Martinez with the AWP is playing in quad. Yekandar is going to step through. It's OC who eats the double nade. First time they've thrown that, actually. Yekandar already inside of the banana position. He's been down at the choke point so many times. Poor old OC took the damage dealt. dealt Meant for him. Yeah, exactly. Intended for him. Good flash. They spotted him. They know he's at the tree, so he knows he has to fight out of there before more utility gets tossed that direction. That's a cool little timing for that utility as well. You see that smoke bouncing. You know it's the kind of the retake smoke that teams like to throw, and then you chuck the flashbang, and it almost actually caught Yekandar off. Massive gap in that mid smoke, and that shows a little bit of leg, but not enough to take him down. That's that's. At least goes for that, and I get it. But you could also try and punish that more. You know he's on that corner. Be silent. Sneak up. Maybe you can open up the angle inside of that smoke. Unless he's expecting that a flash is coming out, and that's why he's positioned like that. I mean, you never know. It could be you probably also thinking it's intentional, and also, I mean, just the risk there. If that goes south, if that goes wrong, then all of a sudden you've, you're in the final round of the map, and you can't even execute the plan that you wanted to in the timeout. Martinez has rotated around and sits now on the arch side. Smoke's going to go deep, but this is all a fake. They want the B site. This hasn't sold anything, though. In fact, if anything, they're guessing all wrong. The rotation's coming back. Martinez is at CT spawn, and there's two at the back of the site. New box boost for Alex. Alex and Smoke might be down. They're not even going to spot him. Movistar looking to wrap this up and do it cleanly. It's just OC and Nap remaining. Oh, five to find. And it's just going to be OC on 32. We're done on this map.